Hello Collective, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, uh, so shall it be. The judgment is final. Let's go ahead and get into this read really quickly. This is Sagittarius. You keep popping up in my reads. Trying to hide and everything. You're burning behind the scenes. You're trying to stop someone from uh, trying to disconnect someone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're trying to disconnect someone, a queen of cups, from their life purpose. And you think that if you keep tampering with their work, keep tampering with their life, they're eventually going to give up and you're going to sneak on in and give them an offer. And so you can have victory and you two are going to sail into the sunset and have some type of chapter together in love commitment. Sir, some type of contract, contractual commitment. Sir, you need to sit down somewhere. Okay. This is you. All you do is plot on how to end people. You are accustomed to being able to deceive people. You're used to toxic people. You want to you want to sneak someone so that what well, you can weigh them down, get rid of their courage, their strength. You said someone is too strong. I've been trying to destroy this mother effort for a while now and it's not working. I've done everything, taking all kinds of option, uh, actions against them, right? I even wanted to go in and gaslight them, play with their emotions, make it seem like I was genuinely interested in them. And then all uh, to do that, just to what? Trap them? She said, I'm good. You can keep everything you got. Okay. You could be a king of pentacles and you, um, that's it. I heard barely holding on, barely holding on. You are obsessed with a woman. This is what I'm getting from this seven of swords is that you are trying to move in some type of way, sneak someone to either disconnect them from their life purpose, their job, their work, or you want to have some type of control over their work. So you can what? Control that person. The high priestess you're stalking. The empress you're stalking. You're stalking someone, sir. You're stalking someone. You want to you wanna be the one to come in and give them an opportunity, but you don't have any good intentions. You're trying to trap someone. You've never met someone you can't trap before, huh? You've never met someone that said no. You've never met someone that was high vibrational. And they have the audacity to tell you no, so now you're throwing a temper tantrum. You got to grow up, sir. Today we got time. Oh, you're throwing a temper tantrum? Source said that's the truth. That's the truth. You're out here watching someone, trying to see how what you can cause them a tower, how you can sneak them to block their forward movement. You got a mental imbalance. You absolutely are a Sagittarius energy, and you are losing it behind the scenes. Are you crying? Or are you throwing a fit? Probably both. Both. Why are you all fighting? The group wants to move on. You're still burdened, trying to hold on to what? To what? You are in denial. Denial is a river in Egypt. You are in the U.S. You ain't giving no offer to anyone to breadcrumb them so you can make it seem like you're balancing something out. You are a king of swords. And you're living in fear. You don't tell no truths. You lie, 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 lie all day. You keep coming up in my reads. What's your problem? Huh? What is your problem? I'm about ready to start speaking my Liberian English on here. Like, sir... You ain't even a bachelor, but this is what you want to be. You want someone to see you as a bachelor. Are you going through a divorce or something? Wanting to have a brand new passionate beginning somewhere else? But you're trying to force it. That ain't how life works. You're trying to force love on someone. You say, oh, I know I just want you for XEX, but I, if I come in and act like I'm genuinely interested in you, that I'm in the upright... Then you'll see me, right, as your match. Uh, no, sir. You're going to have to actually do the actual healing to give an offer to whoever you're stalking. You ain't coming in to breadcrumb anyone. Go find something better to do with your time. You're out here doing all kinds of rituals, and I don't know if you don't see them as rituals, but they are rituals. 
You're out here trying to disconnect someone from their life purpose. You're going through a tower. You're out here trying to cause a tower for someone. You're immature as heck. Grow up. What the heck is this? A grown man battling a woman and you feel good about yourself. Do you? So this is how you're used to what getting women in your life? This is what you're used to? This is how you treat the women in your life, right? Have them out in the cold, deplete them out of their resources, their stability and everything. And then you can come in and what? Sneak attack them with an offer that you want to make look like it's solid. Come on. Someone already knows. They have foresight of what you're planning for them. Someone knows you're not you at all. Everything about you has been revealed to a feminine energy. You're out here stalking. You've been stalking someone for over a year is what I'm hearing. But while you're stalking them, you want to make it seem like it's another gentleman that's doing it. No, it's not. It's you. It's you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a feminine out there and you don't know who's been stalking you, it is a whole Sagittarius out here stalking you, but they want to make it look like it's someone else. No, 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 no. It's him. He has a lot of emotions for you. It's throwing a temper tantrum behind the scenes because he's not able to defeat you. He's been able to dismantle other people's lives with lies. And then he can come in, whoops in, so that your world can center around him. Oh, that is my savior. That is my knight in shiny armor. We are married and we are committed to each other. We are loyal to each other. Whole time, he don't got nothing to offer you. Out here paying people to tamper with your energy. Karmic as can be. Karmic and impulsive. Lies. Someone's out here, he said, I got options. So does the woman you're, 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 you're stalking. She said she got options too. She, oh, yeah, I said sad. She said she got options. She got options. So she don't mind leaving you out in the cold because you ain't coming with nothing well, but... Freaking burdens, deception, deception, leave this woman alone, leave people alone, you must be that man I picked up on in that King of Swords reading where, it's, where I was talking about how a man is trying to dismantle a woman's foundation so that he can come in and save her, that's you. Oh, that's you. You're used to, oh, that's you. You're used to dealing with gold diggers. You're used to flashing a little bit of money you got. It's more than what I have, but we don't care. You're used to being able to just flash that little bit of money, you know, spit a little game, and there goes, there goes down the draws. And then they find out it was nothing but an illusion. You're in nothing but a joke out here. You could be a business manager out here just acting a fool. Acting a fool and taking reckless actions. Reckless actions. You could be going through a divorce. You see yourself as a king of pentacles. You're a king of swords is how I see you. Because the actions you're taking, it's like you're planning on how to end someone. What woman in the world that has two senses right in her head is going to accept a man after he done took everything from her and you know she knows that it's you, but then you're going to gallop on in her life and play Prince Charming and she's going to take an offer from you. Someone's even seen you in the dream state. So you could be into magic. Like you work with a high priestess. They're teaching you how to do all kinds of silly stuff behind the scenes. And you're astral projecting into someone's dream to give them messages. You want them to believe that what you and them are twin flames. You don't have a contract with this woman. You're not a soul twin. You're not an option for this person. She's not an option for you. Leave that woman alone. You are absolutely into rituals. You got people helping you l learn how to... Project into someone's energy in the dream state. And what did she do when you did? She rejected you. Yeah, in the dream state. Someone rejected you because they already knew what you were up to. That's why you were rejected. It don't make sense, does it? 
You got a whole group of people working with you behind the scenes and you're going through nothing but chaos and con uh, conflict, arguing. Meanwhile, you're walking around acting like you don't know what's going on. You said, oh, I don't know. I don't know why she's doing all of that. I'm just trying to love her. You know how to love? Do you? Oh, so you think you're going to come in, gaslight someone, play with their emotions, and then you're going to what? Get married, and then before they know it, what? You are hovering over them, controlling, controlling every aspect of their life, including their thoughts, their work, everything. You need to take a different path because the path you're headed down is dangerous. I don't know how invincible you think you are. You ain't that invincible. No, one's is, no one is invincible when the Most High decides to step in and take matter into its own hand. You ain't, you are not invincible. When the Most High comes for you, honey, you, you can't get away. You're stuck. There's no getting away for you. Because the whole time they've been watching you take what? Action to defeat someone. And you're under some type of illusion that you're going to be what? Successful. Victorious. You are absolutely a Sagittarius. You are absolutely a Sagittarius. And you have an obsession with a woman. You have a lot of emotions for someone. But you don't know how to properly express your emotions. You've been having, I don't know if you have someone out here, you've been paying to make sure a feminine energy does not get any type of love offer. You got a king of cups in a higher fan energy. You've been paying to make sure a woman does not get any love offers so that you can gallop your little behind in to her life and give her an offer. Re reject it. Reject it. Yeah, you want to come in and give them an offer. It's a breadcrumbing offer. You're impulsive as heck. You say you got options. This is the energy you're in. A knight of wands energy. Impulsive. But you think it's passion. What kind of passion? What kind of passion is that? I'm going to destroy your... I'm going to make your boss, fight, uh, your boss fire you. I'm going to make sure your business does not grow. I'm going to keep stealing from you and lying on you. I'm going to tell people you did this and you did that when you never did. And then I'm going to gallop into your life and give you an offer so you can see me as Prince Charming. And then we're going to gallop up into the sunset. What? You know, you, you, you do hear how that sound, right? You do hear how that sound, right? You need to go within, sir, and self-actualize so you can become an actual emperor. You need to self-actualize. You need to be worried about that woman that you went and gave an offer to that's been playing with you. Gaslighting you. I don't know if you have a concubine behind the scenes that's been working with you. You need to go worried about that one. Because whoever you are trying to pay people, right, to cause hindrances in this woman's life, high priestess's life, she ain't worried about you. That woman is not worried about you. You're not even on the menu. She's not on your menu. Move on. This is like destroying something. You know, man, your energy is so frustrating. Because I've been seeing you popping up in my reads. You don't fell down from grace a whole long time ago. And you're still living in denial that your persona you are showing is still being bought by the people around you. No, 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 sir. They see you. They see you. You're trying to act like everything is okay. Everything is not okay. They see you. They see your face. This is you out here trying to pretend like you're still okay. You're not. You're unhinged. You're not. You're going through some type of separation. You're going through a separation. You can barely contain your emotions. Before you come towards someone, you better go through ascension. It came out the same way. So you can what? Become an actual emperor because you ain't an emperor right now. This is little boy stuff. This is little boy stuff. It says I'm immature. I don't know how. To, yeah. Oh, she knows every action you've been taking, sir. She knows. It says I'm a little boy. I'm not in control of my emotions. They're all over the place. I have a whole lot of them. But I don't want people to know that I have feelings for this person that I bad mouth. Because that's what you did to someone. You bad mouth them. Uh-huh. You betray someone. And you don't want people to know that you're interested in the person you betrayed. 
So instead of being a man about it, you're, you've been out here trying to destroy someone's life so you can trap them in some type of karmic cycle and prevent them from healing and ascending. You're trying to, dis you're trying to cause some type of separation Like you want someone to move on from their investment, from their calling, their path. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? And you've been interfering with a King of Cups life as well. He wants to have a brand new start somewhere and he knows he can. He will be having a meeting with someone in divine timing and they will be getting married, honey. I said it in divine timing. It will be a successful union of commitment, victory until what they die together. So you know there's a king of cups that's interested in a woman. This is what I'm getting, sir. You know there's a king of cups that's interested in a woman. You partner up with a queen of wands in the reverse to cause hindrances and division between the two people that are supposed to be together. You've been out here lying with her and the rest of the group. And then your wife behind the scenes... I don't know what you went and told her that a feminine energy did to you. Didn't do nothing to you. And she's been out here on a, on a, a vengeance. She's been out here on some type of vengeance. Oh, you know, she said this to me. She did this to me at work. Ma'am, it's a lie. Nobody did anything to that man. Oh, you know, she hit on me. She was making passes at me. Ma'am, no, 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 no. Not all women are into public property. I'm telling you the God's honest truth. Some women are out here in the upright. They don't care about other people partners. She didn't, there are some women, as soon as they find out, you are taking, you're entertaining someone, whether it's a friend with benefits or whatever. They don't want nothing to do with it. They're gone. You got to go find them, but they don't want to be found. They're gone. So, you told your wife some type of lie. You said someone made a pass at you. He may have even told you that he had a one night stand with someone. Then nobody sleep with this man. No one slept with him. No one slept with him. And that's the guy's honest truth that you didn't know. Your husband tricked you. So you're out here after a woman that didn't do nothing to you. Nothing at all. And he's been out here trying to block someone from being seen because he doesn't want the truth to be known. That he lied. He lied. He didn't tell people that he had a whole family. He lied. He didn't tell people that he had a lot of emotions for someone. And the emotions are not reciprocated. So it keeps in his mind. He's planning. How can I what? Cause a tower for this heifer. She's going to expose me. If they find out what I did, they'll never look at me the same again. They see you. You're going to have to move on. Everything is going to be exposed. About who an actual empress was. You lied on someone. You absolutely lied. Your wife is out here thinking she's, she's protecting her marriage. Meanwhile, you're out here living a bachelor life. Telling people you're single and all kinds of stuff. You're single, you're single, single. Whole time you got a whole family at home that you probably neglect and don't take care of. Because you want to be seen as what? A bachelor with options. You're mentally unstable, sir. Mentally unstable. You don't went and lie to people about a woman. Talking about she's there. She don't qualify for this job. She don't know what she's doing. She doesn't have the etiquette of that job. She's pretending to be this, trying to cause still mitts in someone's life, right? For what? Because they rejected you and saw right through you. So you've been stalking someone and gossiping and all kinds of stuff. You know a woman knows what you're about. And you're pissed off because everything you do to this person's work is not leading to any type of emotions for, from them. They're not paying you no mind. You see how that woman is looking down? Is this whole group here up to nothing good? Coming up with ways, coming up with plans on how they can temper with this woman's energy. And she ain't paying you all no mind. Meanwhile, 
<laughs> You're the ones that are losing your minds, your emotions. Make it make sense. How are you trying to destabilize someone, but you're the one going through the, 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 the emotions. And then what did you do? You connected with what? Someone in the community a woman lives in. Yeah, right here. You connected with someone in the community a feminine energy lives in. You pay them what? To sneak this person, invade their privacy, do something to them. This is what your community don't know about you. And you've been living in fear the whole time of people finding out the truth. Well, here it is. How can, how can you be a married man and you're disinvested into another person, another feminine energy that's not entertaining you, don't want to entertain you? They don't even want to talk to you. Don't even want to talk to you. Out here astral projecting into people's lives and then your wife is out here way down for what talking about she she's breaking up our marriage he's leaving me for her ma'am that that woman don't want your man that, that's not even your man that's community meat i don't know how you put up with that stuff we'll pray for you yeah you're uh, ma'am you're confused okay you're confused because your husband ain't telling you the whole truth. There's a woman out here that experienced some type of injustice because a man lied on her. He went home and told his wife that a woman made a pass at him. A woman was flirting with him and it never happened. So this wife took the initiative, the responsibility to what caused burdens for someone else, not knowing the whole time. Her husband was lying to her just to control her environment, control her life. She thinks she she thinks she's protecting her her uh I don't know what this is. She thinks she's protecting folks. I don't I, I don't know. Cause the other woman don't even know you. Is what I'm hearing. She don't know you. Never, never. I'm I'm hearing never. Well, that ten of wands there in the freaking eight of that woman ain't never, never entertain your husband. He's been lying to you, telling you every time. Never. If this woman was in your husband's energy, it probably had to do something with professionalism. Like they work together or something. Because I see a lot of pentacles out here. King of pentacles, queen of pentacles. And then you got that ten of wands that has to do with work. Putting in labor and effort to get to your destination. She ain't never been with your husband, ma'am. Oh, your husband don't lie to you. Yeah, this is actually a couple. You've been living in the dark the whole time about what your husband did. He told you someone did something with him. No, they did not. It was a lie. It was a lie. Now he thinks he's going to come in and give her an offer. I'm telling you, it keeps coming out the same way. He thinks he's going to come in and give her an offer. That woman don't want to offer from you, sir, at all. There's a whole nother, there's an emperor. I'm not going to say another because you ain't an emperor. Emperors don't, be, don't behave this way. There's an emperor that's going to come into this woman's life to actually balance something out. And he ain't, uh-uh. Listen, listen. <laughs> Ooh. So now that you know the truth, you're confused. Why are you confused? Why are you confused? You can't deny it. You've commit. I'm telling you, been out here living like a bachelor. Been out here living like a bachelor. And then your wife is way down because you want to be with another woman. But the woman don't want to be with you. The woman don't want to be with you. You want to make an offer to someone and they're telling you back off. No. Because they know what you're about. All you do is breadcrumb people and you got options. You come in, wind them, dine them, drop them, move on to the next. You don't invest in people. You don't invest in people. 
you're like one of those smooth criminals. You do things strategically. You say, I'm going to, uh, if it takes me 10 years, if it takes me 20 years, I'm going to take you down. And the whole time you're plotting someone's ending. Say, I don't care how long it takes me. If I got to play and be like your soulmate, that's what I'm going to do. Until I said I finally defeated you. You is a Sagittarius. You is a Sagittarius, sir. I'm telling you. <laughs> you is a Sagittarius. Your, you and your wife are out here burdened. Because the truth, someone has foresight about what you two have been doing. You've been, you've been uh, tempering with a woman from behind the scenes and then your wife has been doing the same thing because she thinks what? A woman made a pass at her husband. So now there could be another gentleman in here that sees this woman as wish fulfillment, but he's afraid to even come around her because he may have done something to this woman that she's not aware of. This is a hot mess. It's a hot mess. This chapter is almost over. There's something that needs to be revealed before the whole thing can be over. But that woman ain't getting with you, Sagittarius. Yeah, the truth has to be revealed. I don't know if this is a police officer, a PI, or whoever this is, but they know the truth. Now that they know the truth about what people have been doing behind the scenes, he knows the truth. That's all I'm going to say. He knows the truth. I can't. I cannot. This this is the kind of stuff like you see in the movies. And this is orchestrated by a whole man. You know, mo most of the time you expect this kind of behavior from women. But this is a whole man. A man that likes practicality. A man that does not know how to contain himself. Someone is emotionally imbalanced. And he just lied. I said lie and I split the deck and it went to the devil. All he does is lie. All he does is lie and causes division. But when you see him publicly, he appears to be what? Someone very down to earth, intellectual, Someone diplomatic may even come across as a higher fint. He and none of those things. None. Someone told a group of people or he told someone else behind the scenes that the woman he was, he was after, they said, why are you so stern to, to block someone or to, I don't know if, it, I don't know what it is. And he said it was because someone was reckless like someone told a whole bunch of lies on a woman just so they could get other people to turn on that woman for no reason. Because he was so desperate to be with her. He wants her to see him as a twin flame. This is why the twin flame thing, people need to calm down with, the, with those messages on that stuff. This man ain't nothing but a fraud. And he's way down. Because this chapter, honey, it ain't going nowhere with an empress. And empress is moving on. He can't. I'm telling you, she's moving on. It's like a whole new world for her. It's like you destroy your, your chances with someone before you even have it. Before you even have a chance to make an offer to someone, you destroy it. So what you need to do is find some. Yeah, I'm telling you, ascend. Go through some type of ascension. Go through some type of ascension. Get over your emotions. Go through some type of ascension and learn how to master yourself. Find discipline. You don't want someone to be committed to their work. Someone's commitment to their calling, whether it be spiritual or someone just doing what makes them happy, bothers you. Why does it bother you? Because if, if someone is committed, you said someone works 24-7. They're too committed to their work. Someone's character is a little bit too high up for you. Their expectations is a little bit too up there for you. So you're trying to what? Temper with their vibration. You say, I need you to be low vibrational so that I can come in and give you this offer and you can see me as wish fulfillment. We can steal into the sunset so I can sneak you and have you living in fear, control you, 
You are a freaking Sagittarius. You are a freaking Sagittarius. You ain't controlling nothing. Let me tell you something. Empresses, I don't care if you see someone as an empress or you don't see them as an empress. What matters is how the most high sees them. Karmic people like you, you see people for the superficial level. You see things on a surface level. Okay? There's nothing beneath the surface to you. So you may see someone and they are in what? Some type of page of cups energy. But the whole time they are an empress. Okay? A whole empress. But because they show up to you in a page of cups energy, you say, oh, that's not an empress. That's a child. It's just a young person. You know why they show up to you as a child? Because that's the energy you are displaying. That is possibly like an angel that's reflecting to you what it is that they're seeing when they look at you or when they're around you. Meaning you show up as a child, you behave like a child. So meaning you need to learn how to mature the heck up. Okay? You're out here committing yourself to destroying someone. You've committed yourself. Honey, you are Sagittarius. I'm not about to keep playing with you. You've committed yourself to destroying someone, sneaking someone. And you say, at, the, at just the right moment, I'll come in. You know someone I'm seeing you in the dream state. You have a problem with how committed an empress is to their work, to their calling. You said, at the right moment, I'm going to come in and cause an ending to you. And she said, uh, sure. <laughs> You're not in control. The most high is. The most high is. You have a lot of healing to do. And you don't want to heal. So you're out here sneaking people, lying, deceiving. Being karmic as can be. And you think then when you're done being karmic, you can come in and give some type of Offer and make it look genuine. Someone's not looking for a twin flame. You're, you're mad and you're bitter because someone knows that you are not their twin flame. I'm telling you, someone does not want to meet with you. You're not an option for someone. You've been rejected because someone sees you for who you are. Don't care how you present yourself. They know the, they know the truth. Because some... Upright, people that are in the upright, they know people that are in the upright when they meet them. So they also know people that are not in the upright when they meet them. You don't even got to say a word. They already know. They already know. And that's part of the reason why you're bothered by this woman. Because she sees right through you. Right through you. This woman, your wife keeps worrying about you going to another woman. Ma'am, you can keep your husband. That woman don't want him. That woman does not want him. That woman ain't never touch your husband, hug your husband, kiss your... Nothing. She ain't done nothing to him. Nothing to him, with him, around him, about him. Nothing. Nothing at all. Okay? Nothing. When I said nothing, I mean nothing. Like dry. As the Sahara Desert. When it comes to activities between you, between him and that woman. Nothing happened. That sister, she said, I, I be minding my business. I don't want no married man. She sound like me. <laughs> it's a lot of fish in the sea. Listen, collective. Sister, that this man has been uh, hunting a whole high priestess out here. Because these high priestesses are going through it out here. People just coming. Man. Mm-mm-mm. We got the beehive. Financial wealth, success is your destiny, is your portion. Okay? It was something I just heard as well. This man wants to have a hand in your success. He wants to have a hand in your business because you are destined to be wealthy, but your wealth is not something you're concerned about. You are concerned about healing people, is what I'm hearing. But this man, all he cares about is money, 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 money. So now that he's been going to practitioners and getting readings on you, he's looked in your destiny and he knows you're supposed to be uh, abundant or you are abundant. He wants to have a hand in it. So he's going to go through some type of metamorphosis. <laughs> yeah, 
Thank you for the vocabulary ancestor. So it's going to go through some type of metamorphosis. It's just until you get a whole of your abundance. And then he's going to show his true color. True color. So like I mentioned in my last reading, at this stage of your life, your journey is not about love. It's about your work, your soul journey, your calling, perfecting your gifts and things like that. Okay. You have like a unique path you are on and you might want to be careful the people you align yourself with because a lot of people will come along to just cause scandals. Okay. To just cause scandals. And you'll be out here in the world like a kite just. They say, is that a high priestess? Is that a priestess out here and doing anything and everything? I heard he does this. I heard he does that. Whole time is a lie, but your enemies are determined to destroy you. So be careful who you form alliances with. Because some people don't have good intention for you. They say, I don't have your destiny, so I got to destroy it. I'm not as abundant as you. I got to destroy it. Okay. Intense. There's a king of cups that's struggling with saying what something that this is what I'm hearing. There's a king of cups that's struggling to say what it is he has to say. You may want to open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. We got the ruby. Someone's root, Mr. Sagittarius. I'm going to make this directly about you. Your root chakra is out of balance. You need to fix it. Maybe get you some ruby crystals or ruby stones. Because your intuition, I mean, your root chakra, excuse me, is out of balance. You are harboring a lot of anger within. And the anger you harbor has nothing to do with this woman. It's all you and your life experiences that has nothing to do with this empress high priestess you've been attacking but because someone uh, reflects an energy that you like that you need to be you have a problem with that so you've made it a mission and your purpose to destroy them you ain't coming nowhere in someone's life to force your way in there high priestesses impressive empresses is something is not genuine they don't want nothing to do with it so you're going to have to find a place to have several seats and do some grown up. Thank you for watching, folks. See you in my next video. Goodbye for now and stay blessed.